We all want to know, should we be taking supplements? Which ones? How much? Will they help us live healthier and longer lives? Or is this a waste of money or even counterproductive? In this study, researchers wanted to know if a combination of dietary supplementation and physical activity could reduce inflammation. So, of course, they did a study. They studied other studies. Welcome to Lifespan News, I'm Emmett Short. Today, we're talking about inflammaging, chronic low-level inflammation often found in many hereditary and age-related diseases. Inflammation has been associated with fatigue, which obviously makes you not want to exercise, which ironically is one of the things that can reduce inflammation and cure your fatigue. So it's really one of those chicken and egg situations. It's like, well, if I wasn't so tired, I would exercise. Well, if you just exercise, Maybe you won't be so tired. It's, it's tricky because, of course, certain types of exercise might cause more inflammation, like a long distance run, or maybe you overexerted yourself or you sprained something. And that's the conundrum we all face every day. It's a real thin line we're walking as we try to stay in shape and live longer. So they studied 11 randomized controlled studies that differed in design but mostly included healthy men and women and all compared exercise and supplementation to control groups. The studies looked at protein or amino acids, omega-3s and vitamin C and D. The exercise regimes also varied, but most included resistance training and light aerobic exercise. In general, participants exercised two to three times a week and the study duration varied from four weeks to 24 weeks. The results, showed that in six of the 11 studies, inflammatory markers were reduced after exercise combined with dietary supplementation. The researchers concluded that in addition to the beneficial effects of exercise, the anti-inflammatory properties of plant-derived proteins and micronutrients like vitamin C and D might be responsible for the suppression of inflammation in these studies. The study did reveal some evidence, though, of the synergistic anti-inflammatory effect of exercise combined with the dietary supplementation, but they couldn't really nail down enough of it to give you guidelines on an ideal combination of exercise and supplements. But every study uncovers a little bit more, and when it does, we'll be here to tell you what's uncovered. So. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. I'm Emmett Short, and we'll see you next time on Lifespan News.